Hi, welcome to today's video. Uh, this video is going to be about my master's degree in machine learning. Uh, I'm not done with the whole degree yet. I have a little bit less than a year left, uh, but I'm done with all my mandatory courses and also um, almost all my electives. I got two electives left that I'm currently doing uh, and then my thesis and then I'm all done. Uh, so I thought this would be a good time to just do this video and let you guys know what I'm studying. The first course that I did was called Artificial Intelligence and it was an introductory course to uh, different concepts and areas within AI um, such as for example hidden market models, planning, search heuristics, uh, decision theory, uh, not so much machine learning. I think we only had like one or two lectures about neural networks. At the same time as the AI course, there was also an introductory course to machine learning uh, which covered all the basic concepts and models used in ML such as for example the difference between uh, classification and regression, supervised and unsupervised learning, um, models such as decision trees, support vector machines, um, patient learning, um, and nearest neighbors and many more. After the introductory course in machine learning, I did an advanced course in machine learning, which was probably the hardest course that I've ever done. Uh, it was about probabilistic methods used in machine learning, and we just got to derive a lot of math formulas for everything. There was also a course in the first semester called An Introduction to the Philosophy of Science and Research Methodology, uh, which was about how to do research, how to set up experiments, and just build models. And that was the whole fall semester. In spring, I did a course in artificial uh, neural networks and deep architectures, and it was about different types of neural networks, such as, for example, um, multi-layer perceptrons, um, self-organizing maps, recurrent neural networks, uh, Boltzmann machines, um, autoencoders, deep belief networks, and half-field networks. And we got to implement all those different types of neural networks and also analyze them uh, given different types of data. I also did a course in time series analysis, which was a math course um, with a lot of probability theory. Uh, we got to analyze different types of um, time series data in R, uh, and the focus was on AR and MA processes and not so much on S LSTMs or any other machine learning models. At the same time as the time series, I chose to do another course called Speech and Speaker Recognition, which was about various methods uh, used to uh, analyze and process uh, human speech. There was also a course called Deep Learning that I was supposed to do in my master's degree but I did it already in my bachelor's degree but since it belongs to my master's degree I thought that I could bring it up here as well uh, but it's a course about um, state-of-the-art uh, architectures used in uh, deep learning today. The second year started with a course in data intensive computing, which is about um, how you handle massive amounts of data. Uh, everything from how you store it in distributed file systems to NoSQL databases such as HBase or Cassandra, uh, to how you process the data on multiple computers uh, using frameworks such as MapReduce or Spark. Uh, I also got to learn to program in Scala in that course. I then decided to do a course in ethical hacking which was a little bit random because it didn't have anything to do with machine learning but I've always been curious about how hacking is done so I thought why not uh, and the course was very interesting because the only assignment that we got in the course was uh, to freely hack into a network that was set up for us to hack of course uh, and just in any way that we could come up with compromise the different computers by for example cracking passwords, sn sniffing traffic, um, privilege escalating and just finding back doors and um, you got to like use everything that you found on the internet there were no rules at all just like free hacking after finishing those courses i'm now doing a course in data mining uh, which is about retrieving information from large-scale data uh, and i've only been doing this course for a week or so so i don't know so much about it yet but uh, so far we've been covering how to find similar items and frequent item sets from a large amount of data 
and I think in the future the course will also cover uh, recommender systems which I'm really excited about learning. I'm also currently doing a course in natural language processing uh, and we've only had two lectures in that course so far so I can't tell you so much about it yet uh, but I think uh, it's about various methods used to make computers uh, understand human language in the form of text. After this semester, I only have uh, my thesis left, which I'm going to do in spring uh, 2019. Um, I don't know yet which topic I'm going to write about, so I'll let you guys know when I find out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video too, and let me know if you have any uh, questions about any of the courses that I've done or uh, my degree. You can always ask me them in the comments below, uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!